Hey, what's up YouTube? This is uh, Dave from Apple Unlimited. Welcome back. Uh, this is one of the most exciting videos out of the entire year for me to make and I cannot wait. In fact, it's so exciting I actually forgot to make it. <laughs> so it's about a week late, I apologize. Uh, but here we are. Uh, we're gonna be testing the latest version of Pro Tools. Right now it's 2022.5 with the brand new Ventura, which is Max um, OS 13, uh, the beta one. So before we start, I gotta roll this footage because I paid for it, so here it is. All right, so this is the sixth annual uh, Pro Tools compatibility test with the newest version of Mac OS, which uh, came out recently. Uh, this is the first beta, so there's gonna be many more iterations of it to come. I don't think this is the final version of Ventura, this is the first version of it. Uh, let's go ahead and try it out. I have not tried it yet. Uh, before we start, I have to do one more thing. I have to make a prediction of what I think is going to happen when I try to use it. Um, I want you to leave your comments down below of what you think is going to happen. Um, my prediction is that it will open, it will work, but it'll be very glitchy. Like in a cool, kind of crazy way. That's what I want to happen. That's my prediction. So, we'll see. Here we go. Okay, so I have a fresh install of Pro Tools right here. Uh, 2022.5, I just opened it for the very first time. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Uh, this is my daughter's computer. My iMac is sadly got the ax this year, so I cannot update it anymore. Stuck on Mojave or Monterey forever. Um, so I will not do anything except maybe skip some of the beach ball moments like right now. Um, but not yet, I gotta see what happens. It's bouncing. This thing is so slow. This this thing came out. Uh, ooh. This thing came out right before the M1. So this is the last, the last Intel iMac that there was. And I wish I could have waited, but I couldn't. So, hmm. Okay. Um, it's like it's trying to install the plugins, which is a good sign. I might have to skip part of this because it's just so slow. Okay, here we go. This is good news. Uh, has not crashed yet. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens. I just wanted to add this computer is so slow that it took me about 20 minutes to install Pro Tools. <laughs> Which is funny. Because it should take, what, like two or three minutes, right? Um... Okay, let's go looking for a project I have. Okay, here we go. Let's load a session up. Okay. As always, I'm going to load up uh, Maniac for my good friend Stephen Lee. This is a song we did together. We finished it together. Uh, it has it has some stuff on it. I didn't have too much on it. Uh, some of the inputs are missing. Oh, whatever. Some of the plugins are missing. Yeah, this is not my main computer, it's my daughter's computer, that's why it's all missing. But, okay, here it is. It's up, it's running. Um, let's go ahead and try some audio, shall we? Ooh. Well, no glitches yet. I don't see any glitches. So again, sorry for the mix. The plugins are all missing. Um, wow. Interesting. Let me try zooming in. Zooming out. Everything's working so far. I want to try to crash it with something. What do I have on here? Just built-in built -in effects. Let's see. I don't even know what I have. I haven't used the built-in stuff in forever. That's working. Huh, what else can I do? I got Maxim on there. Oh, that's funny. That's how old 
a session that I used to use Maxim a long time ago. <laughs> oh, there's a glitch. Did you see that? Right there. Okay. At least there's one glitch. <laughs> so technically I'm right. <laughs> That's my prediction. Although, <clears throat> I figured there'd be more than just that. Um, and there probably is when you go through it all. But I'm not seeing anything else right now. Interesting. Where that little, that black hole was. I played it right there and it went away. Hmm. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Well. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say that it opens up, everything works, as far as I can tell. Um, Let's check our setup real quick. And there are glitches, but not really, not really a whole lot. I'm 256 right now. Let me go up higher and see. Huh. Cool. Well, um, technically I was correct, but I kind of was wrong because I thought there'd be a whole lot of glitches, and there's kind of not. So don't forget, if you have a lot going on, wait until the official compatibility from Pro Tools uh, comes out and then update, and maybe not even then. <laughs> you know how it is. Uh, thanks for watching, we'll see you soon. This is Dave.